someone with a long term ailment. Let's pray for that right now. Dear Lord, I'm struggling to stay positive. When this role seems never ending, not only am I physically exhausted, but my emotions and spirit are worn out too. At times I want to know when all of this will end. Oh my God. But I'm also scared of that day because it means losing someone I love. As my energy fades, would you renew me with your strength? I recognize I can't get through this alone, so keep me grounded in you. I hope you're praying this prayer with me. Thank you for the reminder that I don't need to dwell on the poverty or riches of the situation, but you provided that what I need for today. When my mind races ahead to the length of this process, when discouragement and exhaustion threatens to pull me under, open my eyes to see bread. To see the bread you've given me in this moment. I want to be grateful for your provision rather than grumbling about my struggles. Keep me connected to you so I can remain aware of what my care recipients needs. When I feel as if I have nothing left to give, show me what to do next. Mm. Whether I need to press through the pain, ask for help, give myself permission to rest, I want to be a light for you. Lord, so fill me with purpose and joy as I interact with other caregivers and medical personnel. Help me use this season to reflect your love rather than shrinking into the cave of my hardship. Give me fresh perspective and courage of heart the days ahead seems endless, but Father, you are eternal. I'm grateful. You're not limited by space and time, and I praise you for providing what I need right now. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray that prayer, if you're in that setting that we're talking about right now, See, this is real. See, see, when you're caring for, oh my God, or I don't know who you're caring for. I cared for my mom and my husband. I don't know who you're caring for. I'm not talking about on the job now. I'm talking about in my home. I'm talking about at home. I'm not talking about the profession of nursing. Now, I want to say one thing. I don't want to exclude nurses. Because nurses also care for people on their jobs. And then they also have a loved one at home that they care for as well. Sometimes they're doing a double whammy. Mmm. Bet you didn't know that, did you? You say, well, how can they do that? Well, 